Hi Aries, welcome to your month ahead taroscope for the month of September 2019 with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me and thank you so much to all of you that have helped me reach that 40,000 subscriber mark. I'm truly, truly grateful for it and uh, I'm, you know, just super, super humbled. So thank you. Uh, with that said, if you would like to book a personal tarot reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. If you're not on my mailing list, you are not getting the weekly Monday Magic Tarot tidbit, which is a motivational message from me and the Tarot to uh, get you fired up for the week ahead. And also, I have an announcement to make. Uh, this is it's very, very space limited. There are only 100 spots. I'm doing a winter solstice alignment activation session on the 21st, uh, which is the, of course, the winter solstice. I'm putting this in the September video to let people know well in advance because I know that the spaces are going to go really quick. So if you want to be a part of that, get onto it. There is a link in the description box below. With that said, I would like to bless all of my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So let's have a look see what the week ahead, uh, the week, the month ahead has in store for you. All right so let's have a look what is going on for September 2019 for you Aries what's going on with your actions and interactions with the world at large this month you've got the wheel of fortune right so I love it when we get this card when anyone gets this card as your actions and interactions because it means that you're no longer relying on luck it means that you're taking luck into your own hands and you're going to create your own uh, it means that you're taking charge of your destiny it means that you're taking charge of the opportunities this month any opportunities that you've had any opportunities that have come up um, your actions and interactions is what you do right the wheel of fortune is jupiter jupiter has already gone direct in sagittarius right which trines your own sign especially if you're a sun sign um yeah especially if you're a sun sign jupiter right the sun trine jupiter is a beautiful uh, alignment right <clears throat> So, uh, and the Wheel of Fortune represents Jupiter, it's luck, it's blessings, it's abundance, but it's also the synchronicities that shape up in, re uh, in response to the energy that we've already put out there into the world. And the fact that you've got this in your actions means that this month you're being bold, you're taking your, uh, your destiny in your hands and saying, right, I've had certain opportunities, what am I going to do with them? How am I going to turn them into something real? How am I going to make tangible steps forward, you know, that start to bring me results, that start to yield results now and uh, you know because it is a card of luck right it's a card of reaping what you sow effectively uh, right so synchronicities uh, luck abundance I've mentioned all of those things but it's about you kind of taking the initiative and saying right I'm not going to rely on things just dropping out the sky into my lap I'm actually going to make good use of the energy the time the resources the finances everything everything that I have access to I'm going to push it to the max and do the absolute best I can with it so that I can get the most out of it and that's a really powerful place to be in all right so let's have a look at your money and materials as we mentioned it so this month your finances what's going on there you get the emperor right so this is you and this is really interesting because you've got a fire card in the fire sector you've got the emperor your card right so your actions and interactions are dynamic vibrant and not forceful but they are being pushed it's almost like you've got this fire under your bum this month where you're pushing yourself forward in terms of your money and materials the emperor card basically says that you're getting serious about your finances this month you're getting really gung-ho about right how do i generate more wealth for myself how do i generate more finances for myself and more importantly when it comes to my physical health how can I look at that you know you're getting because uh, your money and materials isn't just your finances it's your body it's your home you're getting more particular about those things which is really interesting because Mars your ruler is currently in Virgo this month right so you've got that sort of fine tune uh, you know mindset or you've got your your thinking cap on this month and you're saying to 
yourself, right, okay, how do I get the most out of my finances? How do I get the most out of myself? This is about you marshalling your resources this month, right? So you're taking on board all of your opportunities and really kind of honing in on how you can use all of that and how you can create your own luck. But then when it comes to your finances, your money, your resources, and actually your um, <clears throat> physical health, you're getting really particular about the details. You're looking at that stuff and saying, right, okay, I'm the authority, I'm in control here. So if you've been having difficulty in your finances, this could be a month where you really see an upswing in it. Um, and it won't be because, you know, money just falls out of the sky or you get, it could, you know, there could definitely be a boss figure, a father figure, somebody of, uh, a, you know, a masculine energy uh, coming through to give you some sort of a blessing or an opportunity. That's definitely a possibility here. Um, but look at this as well, straight away you've got two major cards, right? Which means when it comes to your actions and interactions with the world at large and when it comes to your um, finances, these are big things happening. This is like the universe is kind of steering things at the moment. Be along for the ride, but also remember that you are the emperor, right? That's you coming up in your own spread. So it suggests that this month you really are taking the initiative and saying, right, okay, I want to improve my finances. I want to improve my health. In fact, I want to do, it's almost like I'm hearing the words under construction. It's like you're doing a complete overhaul of life this month, um, which is great, right? Because it means you're taking the ball by the horn, so to speak. And who better than an Aries? <laughs> Um, all right, so let's have a look at your communications this month. All right, so you've got the High Priestess. Wow, look at that. I mean, it'll be really interested to see what your Heart and Half card is. Um, so your High Priestess is about your intuition, right? This is about your intuition speaking up, but it also suggests that there's going to be some form of hidden knowledge uh, that comes to light. And it looks like you're hearing about a secret. Something's being divulged to you. Now, for some of you, this could be about a father figure. For some of you, it could be about a boss. For some of you, it could be from a boss. Um, and it could possibly be that this month you hear about an opportunity that is very hush hush it's almost like someone's giving you something like an inside privy or an inside track and they're saying to you look you know i'm telling you this in confidence it can't go anywhere my advice to you aries is even when you're you know being frivolous with you know you're speaking and stuff this is a moment where you are being given information that is quite sensitive if you override that or you give it to somebody else even by accident you know accidents do happen um, this I can I will say this to you you know it's a it's a it's not like a warning but it's letting you know if you mishap with this information you'll never gain that trust again especially not from this person because like I said it looks like they are in a position of authority it really does look like there's somebody in a position to help you that's going to give you inside knowledge um, you, it's up to you to keep that knowledge a secret right so uh, communications look good your personal intuition this month is going to be on point i mean i've always said that aries is a very psychic sign my mum's an aries and pff, she's got it in waves like trust me so um you know you'll, you'll be finding that this weekend also um this week this month um it's interesting because it looks like when it comes to the professional life um it's definitely going to be the masculine figures when it comes to the personal life it will be the feminine people so it will be the mother the aunt the you know, the grandmother all of those people are going to be the ones that um they'll they'll be the ones that are there to support you you know if you need to speak to somebody in confidence which might actually be the case as well you know it could work the other way around um you want to go to a woman all right somebody that has a lot of you know it could even be a man that has a lot of feminine energy or somebody that has a balance of both but um you know certainly for for those things you kind of get the drift all right so your heart and half your personal life you've got the five of swords so this month it could be, um, and my advice to you is, especially if you're in a relationship, um, don't let hearsay start to, to, to get in the way of your relationship. It's really important this month that you don't allow other people's <clears throat> excuse me other people's thoughts or um you know tidbits or little bits of gossip and hearsay to come between you and a partner or you and a crush or you and a boyfriend or girlfriend you know whatever or both you, you know <laughs> it happens now um right the five of swords suggests that there may but because it's right next to the high priestess 
I kind of feel like this is, it's almost like there's a jealous or an envious eye when it comes to your relationship this month. And somebody's gonna try to throw a cat amongst the pigeons. Um, so my advice to you is spot that person, right? Trust your intuition, spot that person rather than taking it out on your partner. For those of you that are single, um, I gotta be honest with you, it doesn't look like a great month for love, right? It looks like the the, the personal life sector uh, could could be under a little bit of fire this month. Because um, <clears throat> the Five of Swords is, you know, it's it's those little arguments, it's those kind of, and it's, it's beyond banter, right? It's where the banter becomes serious. So just keep it, ooh, keep an eye on that. So your first week of the month, You've got the Tower card right underneath the Wheel of Fortune. So there is, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, my throat. <coughs> so this first week of the month, uh, it does look like there is some surprise coming to you. Um, advice, play the lottery, uh, bet on a horse, not your entire wage, not the house, not the car, um, you know, but maybe take a calculated risk. The thing about the Tower is, it upsets the status quo, right? It changes everything around us that is structured, that we think is uh, the way that it's supposed to be. Um, so, you know, and so it can kind of go either way. Sometimes the tower is a deeply liberating experience and sometimes it's, let's be honest, quite bleeping horrible, right? Um, I say bleeping because as many of you know, I'm trying to be a bit more conscious uh, about the language that I use and the way that I use words, um, so trying to keep the, the, the cuss in to a minimum. Um, so with the Wheel of Fortune as your actions and interactions card, this really for me suggests that there's a, a very powerful synchronicity shaping up, but it also looks like a blessing. And it's one that comes completely left of field. This isn't something that you're expecting. It's not even something that you can look at and say, well, I put work in there a while back, so I should get something back from this soon enough. Uh, this is something that is completely unanticipated. You, you, you're you, not gonna see this coming. And because you've got the Wheel of Fortune there to back it up, it is a blessing of some kind, which is beautiful. So your second week of the month, you've got the Wheel of Fortune. So you've got a double hit of this Wheel of Fortune energy right next to the tower as well. Finance, finances are gonna take a real big upswing this month, um, almost spontaneously. Now, what's interesting is you're putting the work in. You are getting savvy. You're doing the, your bit. It's almost like you're saying to the universe, right, I'm gonna do all of the stuff that I can. I'm gonna leave the rest. There's you know, anything that's not in my hands, anything that I can't be in control of, I'm not gonna stress about. I'm not gonna, you know, it's kind of like the, the serenity prayer. Give me the, the wisdom to accept what I can't change and the courage to change what I can and all the rest of it. But this uh, Wheel of Fortune in the second week, underneath the Emperor, finances look good. And it also suggests as well, <clears throat> This month you will be able to find the energy to do what needs to be done, especially when it comes to the home or when it comes to your health. Um, those are things that you'll, you'll find, it's almost like you'll have the energy to do it. Uh, right, so your third week of the month, you've got the Hermit card right underneath the High Priestess. Now this is a really interesting set and I'll tell you why, because the Hermit is what you do when the High Priestess has a message for you. Right, when, when the High Priestess wants to get something across to you, life tends to take you through the, the what's a, a better way to put this? You go into hermit mode so that you can hear the High Priestess, right? So when she's got a message for you or you, when you, you want to know something, when you want to pierce the veil, you have to do what the hermit does. You withdraw yourself, you make yourself still, you make yourself quiet so that you can um, move into that place within you where your intuition has the space to speak, where it has the quiet to speak. This third week of the month, you may find that you're withdrawing from people, that you're not feeling particularly sociable, that you don't necessarily want to interact with people because you're contemplating very deeply. You've got a lot going on within you and it's kind of like this spontaneous blessing is bringing you something else. It's almost like it's gonna make you really think 
about you know and it is there is a definitely a blessing of some and it seems like it's financial it could possibly be to do with your home but it looks like there's something coming to you this month that is really gonna it's gonna open things up but it's really gonna make you think um about about life about the way that you communicate with people about the 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 things that people think about when they think about you right it's it's really gonna it's gonna be quite an interesting month i believe but that third week of the month take time to really listen to your intuition to listen to your inner self uh, and then finally the fourth week of the month you've got the justice card right so arguments and you know all of that stuff possibly even uh, very minor but possibly even minor um legal spats could come up this month as well nothing too severe um it could be you know it could be something really trivial and it kind of feels like it will be a non-starter um but you're making the decision this month to say especially in the, the last week of september you know what um i'm making a conscious decision not to allow other people's outside crap to, uh, to infiltrate my inner circle, to uh, get in the way of my relationship. It's almost like you're making the decision not to do the arguing. You're making a decision to keep your relationship on track or on target. And then finally, your key to the month is... You've got the temperance card, right? So you've got a lot of heavy Sagittarian energy here. Why do I say that? The temperance card represents Sagittarius. The Wheel of Fortune, the Wheel of Fortune, that's double hit of that, right? And even, I mean, these are very big cards. This is going to be a very big fated month for you. And the temperance card as the overall, as the, you know, the key to the month, basically says, strive to find balance, strive to remove the impurities from your life, whatever they might be, you know, if you've got bad habits, this is a month to really start making some headway about getting rid of those. If you want to quit a bad habit, if you want to uh, start a new exercise regime, if you want to get control of your finances, it looks like you're doing all of that anyway, right? And the fact that you've got Mars in uh, Virgo, which is, you know, your ruler, uh, it, Mars has the energy to do it. And the Temperance card is ruled by Sagittarius. So this is about you thinking outside of the box. Whatever it is that has been expected of you up until now is changing. Whatever you expect of yourself is changing. And it's like you're filtering out all of the stuff that no longer serves. It's like you're saying, you know what, I can now differentiate between the things that I want and need in my life and the things that are maybe just outdated programming or um, inbuilt from, you know, years worth of, of whatever it is that you've had to experience. It's going to be a really interesting month. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care. I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff and I'll see you soon.